Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. In this video I'll be showing you how to build the slime splitter that you see in front of me. Now this idea comes from a long time ago, a friend of mine called Red Ice said hey I've got an idea, why don't we make a contraption that can automatically take the largest size slime and automatically turn it into the smallest size. As you can see the smaller ones are coming out the end here. Well, he came up with a design, I came up with one. I recently built it on Hermitcraft in my Hermitcraft series after I built a slime farm and that got me thinking about revising it. So this slime splitter is basically a revision of what was once called the slime reducer. So I've given it a bit of a name change as well. Now that old design that I have was mostly lossless. It did occasionally kill a few slimes and I will say that this one is technically 100% lossless. I'll get to why it's technically 100% lossless in a moment. I've been watching this thing for hours and hours and hours and there are two key areas where the slimes can die. The middle size and the smallest could get hit on this lava blade here and I've never seen that happen when the big ones die in the lava blade the small ones always form just a little bit lower down and don't seem to ever hit that lava blade then when it comes to this one over here it's the smallest ones that could hit it and again I've never seen a single one hit this blade what you do, do see though is that when these slimes die um, the smaller ones always seem to drop down lower than where the slime died so that's a good reason as to why um, they don't get killed by the lava blade. Now I said technically 100% lost this what I have seen is a small slime drop down into this water here and die as we've got this little bit of a gap just to let those go through there which helps when this thing is getting congested and technically that shouldn't happen because they're landing in water but I saw it when I was uh, recording my original recording for this tutorial and I decided to stop because it threw me off my tracks a little bit wasn't expecting to see that at all now if you're wondering why the water is just holding itself up in the world it's because this side bit here is made out of barrier blocks of course if you want to build this yourself you would just use glass or stone blocks or whatever it is you want to use this just makes it a lot more visible to see what's going on so we have our first water stream pushing all of the slimes into this space the smallest ones will drop down below the middle sized ones will go on through underneath this half slab and the biggest ones will get killed at that lava right there. Um, then the medium ones coming through here will get killed at that point. If any small ones manage to make it across, they generally just drop down through this water and then we're left with all the smallest ones all the way down here at the bottom. And what you do with them after that point is up to you. Now when it comes to a tutorial, which is what this video is, there really isn't any point for me doing anything other than staring at it side on. In fact, what I'll do is I'll turn off the slime spawning just to make it a little bit easier for us to see. There are two rows of lava and they are all lava sources. You can actually just use a few lava sources if you want to and have some lava blades. That'll be absolutely fine. And then what we have are rows of signs that have been placed on the signs in front of them. That's so that they don't have a collision box, but they can hold back the lava. So after that, we have this drop of two blocks going down to another set of water sources that push across by four blocks. Um, to the left of this, you can see there's a block above it. All of those are water sources which flow out and over this row of signs and that one we have lava again you can use the lava blades and very important here we also have a slab before it and that's kind of everything you need to know so if you want to build this for yourself pause the video take a screenshot of that and that's really all you need to build this thing one last thing to mention is that the area in which your slimes would drop into from a slime farm or something like that is three blocks across. The reason why is because the biggest slime is about two and a half blocks in size so that means there's enough space there for them to drop down into and if you wanted to do it this way those slimes would also fall between a full block and a fence post like that so they could fall nice and easy down into this area with no problems. So that's going to be it from me, this Minecraft tutorial. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like. As always, thank you ever so much for your support. Check out the tutorials playlist for more contraptions and useful things in survival Minecraft. And there will also be a download available in the description box below for you to get if you want to go into this world and, and fly around and have a look at it. But yes, that's it from me. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.